Johnny Fernando was a remarkable person. He was an excellent student, he had many friends, and by the time he reached 17, he had become a starting middle infielder for the Beacon High School varsity baseball team. He had played on three nationally prominent showcase teams, and he had received the Bulldogs' highest honor, the Billy Zatelli Award. At 14, Johnny was chosen to AAU's Team Connecticut and was their starting shortstop all season, including the team's appearance at the 2008 AAU National Championships held at Disney's Wide World of Sports Complex in Orlando. Johnny finished that season batting 365 with a 985 fielding average. At 15, he was selected to one of the country's top showcase teams, Baseball U's 16 and under team, where he started at shortstop and batted third in the lineup. Since 2007, many Baseball U players went on to play college baseball with the help of more than $5.5 million in scholarships and 21 had been drafted by Major League teams. During the spring season, his coach, Houston Astros scout and Baseball U director John Wells asked Johnny to be on his 17U team in July for the World Wood Bat Championships being held in Marietta, Georgia. Before going to Georgia, Johnny attended the Northeast Perfect Game Showcase for high school players who wanted to be seen by college coaches and pro scouts. His throwing clocked at 78 miles an hour, and his overall performance earned him a national follow status and the prediction that he had the potential of becoming a low-round Major League pick and a Division I college prospect. In Georgia, at the World Woodbat Championships, in front of hundreds of college coaches and Major League scouts looking over the next crop of high school seniors, 15-year-old Johnny played second base and batted 375, which included a single off a 91-mile-an-hour fastball. It didn't take a sophisticated eye to recognize Johnny's talent and skills. No matter how hard or how soft the ball was hit, he seemed to glide to it getting there at the right second and in the right position to make a hard yet accurate throw. There was a clear rhythm to his timing and movement. Johnny could dance. Watching his smooth and natural movement, you might think he was born to be a middle infielder. But nobody is born with those skills or even the confidence to acquire them. Early on, he wasn't even sure he was good enough to play the game. As Johnny himself said, My first year playing, I learned that I started the season off as probably the worst player on the team and my coach he really had a problem with the way I threw because I threw sidearm and by the end of the year uh, he helped me correct my sidearm throwing. He ended up being the most valuable player on the team. From the commitment and patience shown by his 78th Precinct Youth Council Lions coach and the support of his parents. Johnny decided he liked the challenge of becoming a quality baseball player, and he was very lucky to have a dad who understood what it took and who was more than happy to help. With his constant training partner, his brother Joe, Johnny spent hundreds of hours fielding thousands of balls to perfect his approach, his timing, and his ability to throw from different positions. As a result, Johnny's natural talent blossomed, and the more he worked, the better he became and the more confident he felt. And the more confident he felt, the more he wanted to challenge himself to the next level. Johnny had found the circle of success. At the same time, Johnny also had become an exceptional student of the game. This was not lost on his dad which is why he asked Johnny to be on the coaching staff of his brother's 10-year-old team in the Triple Crown Summer Nationals in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Having won a bid from the year before, Joe's team made it to the finals, and as Sid explains, I'd had him take over as the third base coach in the championship game, unprecedented for a 14-year-old kid, and Johnny called a beautiful game to lead us, a long-shot Northeast team in the South, to victory. Anyone who spent time with Johnny could sense his confidence and his smarts, which is why he was such an effective teacher. Players taking instruction from Johnny knew from what he said, how he said it, and how he demonstrated it, that what he was teaching was right. Johnny not only understood the circle of success, he understood the importance of passing it on. Over the years, Johnny helped our baseball organization in many ways, and it was his commitment to helping other players that brought full circle the help his coaches had given him. So my first coach, once again, 
he, he really, I felt, went above and beyond in terms of commitment to me. And I applied that to other, I applied that to school, I applied that to working out on the baseball field, and now I've started to apply it to coaching with other kids. I feel that if I show them the same commitment that I was showed, that they'll show it right back. And that will not only improve their baseball playing, but their, their person in general. Watching those Bulldog players Johnny had taught was like seeing Johnny. They approached the ball and carried themselves on the field with the confidence of players who knew what to do and how to do it. It's been a remarkable sight. We Bulldog managers and coaches talk about the life lessons you can learn from playing baseball. There are the obvious ones that occur during the games, like respecting your opponents and the umpires, and winning without showing off and losing without blaming or making excuses. But then there are the less public but just as important life lessons, like how to use dedication and smart training to become confident and successful to motivate you to do better and do more. Tonight we are renaming the Bulldogs Golden Glove Award to the John Fernando Golden Glove Award to celebrate Johnny, the enormous gift of confidence he has passed on to many players, and the very important life lessons he embraced. How dedication and smart planning and instruction can give you confidence, and how confidence will give you the desire to do more and do better. Oh, and by the way, feel happy and good about yourself. Thank you, Johnny.